What's up everyone, Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. All right, I've got a lot to share with you guys, so I'm gonna keep this intro very short, okay? I'm here today with a cumulative haul. Is that the right word? Cumulative, cumulative, I'm pretty sure that's it. Cumulative, which means over a period of time. That's, what is, that's right you guys, I'm here today with a haul for you, but I kind of just wanna call this more like sharing with you how I've expanded my collections. Sure, let's go with that. Hopefully my husband and my mom aren't watching this because they're the ones that come down on me hard. Like they bring down the hammer, like you need to, I watched your video. You need to quit buying so much stuff. So um, I'm hoping that they're not watching, but if they are, you guys, this is over a long period of time. It, it, it is, it is. Pretty decent chunk of time, okay, whatever, anyway. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to share with you guys is something that I just purchased over the weekend. Um, my daughter and I went with my dad and my stepmom to a kind of like small shop pop-up here in uh, San Diego. They were, it was like a booth for a bunch of little small shops to come sell their items that they've made and things like that. And you guys, I have succumbed to the glass, the glass cup tumbler with the glass straws. like. It's just such a vibe and I really love it. So I picked up this baby. It enhances your drinking experience, okay? This is a Ratatouille one and I actually have the art print. I love this artist who designs or who illustrates the characters in this way. Um, I also believe I have the dish towel of this print. So I'm a very big print, I'm a very big fan of this print specifically, but this is my first um, frosted cup. I have one other one that is a Max and Roxanne one that my stepmom got me, which I love. I love it so much and I use it all the time. So that's kind of what justified this purchase. Um, but the thing is with this one, it is frosted. The glass itself is frosted. So I feel like when I have beverages in here, you can't see the design very well. At least I haven't found a beverage that like really showcases all the characters. So as of now, I'm just drinking water in it. I've had iced coffee and I've had a soda in it. So I'm wondering if like light colored beverages only in this one, but it is so freaking cute. We have Anton Ego, Remy, Colette, Gusto, Linguini. We have Emile, Remy, and there's like onions and bell peppers and eggplant and basil and a pepper grinder. Like just so adorable, like so many vegetables. And I just, I love ratatouille so much you guys know i love ratatouille and you never see it so i was very excited about that i also wanted to share the other items that i did purchase while we were there we actually got these for free for being one of the first few groups of people in line for that small shop thing and they're just these very simple encanto inspired ears so we each got um juliana and i each got a pair which y'all know me and some butterflies they're very simple but they are really cute so i thought this would be Nice to just add to our little collection. The next thing I bought, I actually bought it a while ago, but the girl that I bought it from was gonna be at the pop-up shop, so I per I picked it up from her. It is this Mickey and Minnie San Diego Padres little purse. So the Padres, I don't know if it's all Major League Baseball teams, I would assume so, but the Padres really came down on the sizes that you can bring into the park. And so this size purse and it's see-through is about the size it is. It is the size that you're allowed to bring into the park. So how perfect. It's like two fandoms of mine, the Padres and obviously Mickey and Minnie. I do have this sweatshirt, like this design in a sweatshirt. So I love that I have like the sweatshirt and the little matching bag. So I'm very excited to like attend a Padre game this season with all my stuff. Um, I think maybe I'll get into clothing now and one of them is actually what I'm wearing right now. I recently went to Target after you guys on social media freaking blew me up. You were like, Erica, you guys know I'm a Bluey mom. You know it. Yeah, I'm just, I, I love Bluey. I love Bluey so much. Um, I'm still, my daughter is still watching it. My son is loving it right now. So I'm just so happy to keep it in my household forever and ever and ever. <laughs> um, 
but you guys sent me that they had this little like sweatsuit and I know that they had come up with a, a different design but I didn't like that one too much the way that the characters were like dispersed on the sleeves I don't know it wasn't my favorite and then when I saw this one and they're all together on the front but the color is really what sold me. I love blue, y'all know I love blue. And the baby blue just reminds me so much of Bluey. How many times can I use the word blue in like one sentence? <laughs> so I actually did buy the sweat set. So I bought the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. I don't have the sweatpants with me. I think they might be in the wash. <laughs> Cause I wear them, I wore them so much. JD, my husband even roasted me. He's like, you really You're wearing that sweater again? What is it like the fourth day in a row? I'm like, don't be a hater. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's so cozy. It's so comfortable and um, I will be wearing it for the foreseeable future. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you did see that I not only shared that I really wanted it, but then I also shared that my mom bought it for me last time we were in the parks and it is the Disneyland snack or Disneyland foodie spirit jersey. I just love this so much. I feel like if you really know me, if you're one of my close friends or family members, you know that my passion is Disney but like specifically Disneyland and if you get a little further it's Disney food like I have a severe like hunger <laughs> for Disney food like it's a passion of mine I love giving you guys recommendations referrals when you're going to the parks it's just like something I'm very passionate about so I, I literally felt like it was only fitting for me to have this so we have popcorn a pretzel a Dole Whip the candy apple, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Candy, cupcake, turkey leg. <laughs> Forgetting about the turkey leg, but everything else, I'm just obsessed. The bottom of it is like sprinkled. It's like this tan color with the sprinkles, and then we have food going down the side. So it has all of the food that is on the back, but like itemized on the side. Anyway, I love this so much, and I cannot wait to wear it. This arguably might be like one of my most favorite things that I have to share with you guys in this haul. This is not a blanket. You might think it is and you might think it's a robe. It's not. Okay? It's not a blanket. It's not a robe. It is this beautiful, comfy, cozy cardigan. And it's checkered because of course it is, right? But do you guys see what is inside the tan checkers? Mickey? Mickey. So this is from a shop that I've been following for a really long time. It's called Magical Little Babes. And the reason that I stumbled upon her account is I feel like I was searching or maybe it got pushed to me like boy Disney clothes that isn't like red with, you know, Donald on it. Like I'm fine with that. But this shop is fantastic. Oh my god, I got so worked up. I literally choked on my own spit. They are fantastic when it comes to baby boy clothes, like baby clothes in general. But the way that she has these beautiful neutrals in the most beautiful designs, like it's just wonderful. But then she makes stuff for adults, you guys. And I knew I was in trouble. I knew it. So this is something that I'd been seeing and I actually found her page when she had just already done a release and I was like oh my god are they like never coming back so I was stalking her page like a hawk and once she announced that she was going to do a release I jumped on it like I don't even know what's the expression like a bulldog on a meat cart or something like that I, I'm not good at phrases I'm sorry but I got it okay I maybe will try to do like a little fashion show for you <laughs> It's a really long cardigan and it is so warm you guys like Arguably like maybe too warm for me here in Southern California because Y'all know we don't really get like a real winter over here, but it is so warm so cozy I love wearing it to work because it is a little bit more formal, right? Like I dress it up with some boots um, and it's always freezing in my office, so I'm like nice and bundled up in my beautiful cardigan. I just love it so much. So beautiful. That is just like one of my all time, like I'm just so happy to have it. And it's such a statement piece that I cannot wear it like once a week, but I would. I would. I keep saying like this is going to be my favorite thing. I feel like I'm going to say this is my favorite thing like multiple times because I just have so much good stuff to share with you guys. I'm genuinely like radiating excitement like I'm buzzing right now you guys this next purchase I bought two things in this purchase from pink Alamode, and I don't know why 
I never saw it. No one sent it to me. I didn't see anybody posting about it. I didn't see anybody wearing it. I don't know why this collection overall wasn't spoken about. Um, or maybe I just missed it overall. But this is a Loungefly collaboration with Disney and they did a Mickey like Mouseketeer red all over print shirt. It's a Mickey Mouse club. Like you guys freaking know, I don't love the color red, but Mickey Mouse like the OG color scheme, that is all me. Give me classic, give me Steamboat Willie, give me Mouseketeer. I mean, give me all the Mickey, first of all, right? But like classic OG Mickey, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough. And this print, he's like, has his little Mouseketeer uh, drum. There's the hat, there's music notes all over it. It's just fantastic. And then we've got like the little detailing of the black outline on the neck and on the arms. I actually have two of this shirt, you guys. So if you're interested, it's in a size large. So I first bought it as a large thinking like maybe it would be nice to be oversized. It does not look good on me. It's very, um, it's, it's just a little bit too big for me. So I got the medium because it's unisex. Like the medium still looks like it's gonna be a little big on me. So I do have a size large. So if you're interested in it, shoot me a DM. Um, I don't really remember what I paid for it, but I could let you know. So if you're interested in buying that shirt in a size large, let me know. So the other part that came with this purchase that I just could not, like I literally could not resist. It's still in the bag, you guys, because I have like a fear of it being damaged. It is the actual little drum from the Mickey Mouse Club, but like in a purse. Do you guys see the detailing of it? I mean, it's just a, I mean, oh my God. I, this is like a blind reaction to it because I haven't seen it. <gasps> oh my God. Uh, okay, I'm remembering now because I did want the ears in this collection really bad. I did not end up getting them, but it is from the 100th anniversary of Disney. So 100 years of wonder. The word Mouseketeer is like stitched on. We have Mickey. It's just so beautiful. Like I just, I, I freaked out because you guys, the fabric on the inside, which everybody corrects me on that and I get it wrong all the time. So I'm not gonna say inseam anymore. Okay, you guys win. <laughs> um, but it literally says Disney's 100 years of wonder. And it is just, I literally don't even wanna take out all the paper on the inside, but like I should to show you guys. I'm gonna have to, it's too beautiful. Oh my gosh, and then here is the, the ribbon to go across for you to wear it as a crossbody. Okay, so here's the ribbon. Sorry, it says the Mickey Mouse Club in like the pink and red, Mickey Mouse Club. And then look at the fabric on the inside. Again, I bought this so long ago, I'm not entirely sure what I paid for it, but honestly, you guys, I don't care. I don't care um, now looking at it like I don't think I could be without this bag <laughs> I love it so much it's something so unique and like special to my collection you know my lounge flies and stuff like that but this is just something so unique I don't have many lounge fly purses but I can absolutely see myself wearing this to the parks for sure all right now I'm kind of keeping with the theme of bags the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is something that was purchased for me I did not get it myself but it is this beautiful, like one of a kind, Club 33 backpack. This, I'm not entirely sure what this celebration was for Club 33, but I will say these flowers here are what the symbol, like the flowers of that stained glass that's outside of Club 33. So I do know that the flowers represent something and we have this beautiful detailing of the logo of Club club 33 that is stitched onto the front um and tinkerbell is the the little charm to close the backpack she has the same design of the backpack on herself do you see it so cute but this is what i'm talking about these flowers are very specific to club 33 but the really cool thing i'm loving the gold uh quilted designs on the side but this here it comes undone it comes undone and I lift these and you put your ears in here. This is my first bag that I own that you can fit a pair of ears in here. Let me grab a pair. Hold on. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. How freaking beautiful is this? Okay, so it looks like I'm able to kind of put the little straps 
in between the ears and the bow. Oh, I'm deceased. Look at how beautiful these look. They're Club 33 ears, but look at the puffed bow with the 33 logo on the bag. Are you kidding me? Gorgeous. I am going to show you guys the, um, the inseam, <laughs> the fabric on the inside because it is stunning. It's the blue and gold, the navy blue with the gold, but it is a beautiful. Look at this. We've got the classic 33 logo, but this is the beautiful emblem that's in the front of the purse, in front of the bag. It's just so gorgeous. I Again, I just received it, so I haven't opened it or used it, but it's a it's a thing of art. Like, this is just so beautiful to me. I cannot get over it. And I'm so happy to have one that, like, holds my ears. I feel like that's such a, a level up for my lounge fly game, right? Okay, I'm moving on. Um, I guess I will share with you guys a couple of things that I purchased that I do not physically have with me right now. One of them being uh, Rita, my friend Rita over at Enchanted Rita, purchased for me the new shoulder buddy that was released, I believe, in Toontown. It is the little bird from Mickey's Runaway Railway, which I know his name looks like Chubby, but I think it's Chuby, like chugga chugga choo choo Chuby. Anyway, he is like easily one of my favorite parts of the whole ride. I love when we get off the attraction or like it's about to be at the end and he's kind of just doing his own thing right above the barn. He's so precious and it just brings me so much joy. That attraction has become one of my favorites. We are already as a family establishing like such fond memories of it. Jack has been on it um, twice now. Juliana and I love it. We sing the song all the time. So it's just already becoming like for it being a new attraction, we have a lot of memories with it already. So uh, I'm so excited Rita is going to mail it to me because she did pick it up for me. But he's a little shoulder buddy and I cannot wait to have him. A couple of other things. And one thing that I wanted to share with you guys, uh, some exciting news is I am a brand rep for a bow shop. Uh, her shop's name is Emma's Boutique and she does have an Etsy shop. She was requesting some brand reps and I signed up and I am part of her little crew for the time being. I think I'm gonna be repping for her shop for the spring and the summertime and um, I'm waiting for my first order of bows from her. She has some beautiful bows. But I did wanna share that with you guys that if you have little girls or if you want a bow for yourself, I know that that is very in right now. I do love wearing bows myself. If that's something that you guys are interested in, I do have a code to save you some money off and it is Juliana10. I will leave it right here. Go check out her page. I really in, like encourage you guys to go look. She does beautiful items, like not just Disney as well, um, but she has Star Wars, she has Bluey, she has, you know, Fab Five, Princesses, like the works. I really highly recommend you go and check out her shop. I, you will not be disappointed. So I'm waiting for those bows. And I think one of the last things I'm waiting on to receive my order is Get It Creations is a shop that I love. My phone cases are all from her. This one is all like the Disneyland icons. Obviously, you guys know why I got it. And then we have um, the pop socket as well. I have been requesting from her shop for the longest time to please provide us with pop sockets that go with the design of the case because it sucks to cover up the design with the pop socket. So she's finally doing that, which is wonderful. Um, so I did order, I believe, at least one pop socket from her. So I will include a picture of it here, but that is something that's like new to my ever growing phone collection. I'm sorry, phone case phone case collection and pop socket collection because I'm somebody that loves a pop socket and I love my Disney phone cases. So I'm definitely going to be hitting her up again soon, probably. So Rita, I mentioned my friend Rita, she sent over some Christmas gifts for my family and I, which she absolutely did not need to do. Um, but one thing that she did send over for me was something that I have been chomping at the bit for. Like I've been wanting him so bad and um she sent him over to me it is this mickey as like a director yeah it's disney mickey mouse 100 years of wonder christmas ornament i think it says it yeah it says the magic of light and sound so this ornament lights up and it makes sound so let's see oh my gosh there's batteries in here i don't know if rita did that or the ornament did that because i will say these disney ornaments the battery on them dies so fast and then they're like wah, wah. It, it doesn't have batteries in it right now, but you know, let's just use our imagination, okay? Okay, I have it here. Let's see what he says. Lights, camera, action! Did you see that? And cut! Great job! Now, one more time. Oh boy, that's perfect! Are you 
kidding me? That's a wrap. That's a wrap, everybody. All right, everybody. Let's make a movie. Okay, my baby's trying to go to sleep, so I'm not going to play them again. But I think he has like five little phrases. And it plays like a little, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to take the batteries out, you guys. This took all three of those little batteries that came with the ornament. So I'm going to take them out and save them until Christmas time. But are you kidding? Movie director Mickey, we've got so many classic Disney films, so many favorites. Coco, Dumbo, Pooh Bear, Woody, Mulan, Simba, Nemo, Elsa, Tiana. I mean, it's just wonderful. The button to turn it on is right here, right here on the top. So I'm hoping I can try to get the battery in here and show it to you guys. But he's just so adorable. I just, you know me, anything with Mickey, the bottom even looks like a, like he's sitting on a film strip. Like it's just so clever and so classic. Like I'm just obsessed with it. This is something else that I've been super excited to share with you guys. It is a newer company that I've been frequenting. <laughs> um, it's just like a newer, uh, not really a small shop because they're not on Etsy, but yeah, like a, like a small shop. I would still call them a small shop. It is the Spinning Carousel Co. And it is um, partially owned. I think she has like another friend that she partners with, but her name is Josie Maida, I believe her name is. And she is a content creator that I've been following for a while. She has really good content based around Disney food. Bet you're wondering why I love her. <laughs> but yeah, she has some wonderful items that have been like inspired by the parks and the one thing that really caught my attention were these beautiful like vintage inspired looking earrings and that was really what drew me to her shop in the first place so these are the earrings that i'm referring to um she does have gold silver and rose gold i want to say but i did the gold and ivory so that's the earring there it does have like the dangle feature but again i love these i wear them to work pretty frequently because it's like you know, cute jewelry, but you don't know that it's Disney necessarily. Um, I definitely want to go back and get the all gold ones because I'm a, I'm definitely like a gold, a gold girly. Um, I also was dying to purchase this necklace from her. This one I believe is called the birth of a dreamer. And it is a necklace that says 1901, which is obviously the year that Walt was born. So I'm super excited to actually like go to 1901 and like wear the necklace. Have yet to do that, but I love these. I think like stacking them with different Disney jewelry is so cool. But I actually made a purchase from her website when she was running a promotion. Uh, like with whatever order you place, you get a mystery necklace. Like one will just be sent to you. So you guys, you're not going to believe the necklace that I got. Or maybe you will. Do you want to take a guess? Do you want to take a guess? It is a year. Do you want to take a, a guess on the year or like what it's significant to? <laughs> so I'll give you a hint. I'll show you the year. It is 1982. And I'm going to pause for a second to let you guys kind of think on that. Don't Google it. <laughs> 1982 was the year that Epcot was created. So Epcot is my favorite park at Disney World. So I just thought like, how special is that? This font of this necklace is a little bit more like futuristic, if you will, um, compared to the 1901. Let's see if I can show you both. I don't think I can. Okay. So there's the fonts next to each other. You can see 1982 is a little more like futuristic. Anyway, so I purchased the earrings and the necklace and then that was my surprise necklace that I couldn't be happier with it. The other necklace I definitely wanted was um, 1928 and then um, 1955. 28 obviously being Mickey's birthday and then 1955 being Disneyland's birthday. You guys, my hair just is wanting to do its own thing so let's just ignore it, okay? Anyway, I'm super happy with the ones that I got. I think that they are so, I just love them and I've already been wearing um, the 1901 and the Mickey Dangly earrings a lot. Hey, you guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to leave him there. It's like my, my little co-star here. Uh, I'm coming to you from a different day, different outfit, different everything. Um, I'm interrupting myself in this video really quick because I had something here to share with you guys that I completely spaced on and I have to show it to you guys because... Y'all, my Disney people, I feel like you will appreciate it very much so. And it is what um, one of the gifts that JD gave me for Valentine's Day. Um, it's so incredible. 
it's this incredible tote bag. I don't know if it's if you can see it or if it's like backwards, but it says off to Disney again. The company is called Oswald and Sons. So it is like a weekender bag. It is pretty big, but I love what it says. I love taking this with me again, like when we stay on property. I've received many compliments on this bag. Everyone's like, I need it. So I love the color. It's like this brown, green, beige kind of looking bag with the brown bags we've got some leather handles and then we have a crossed like it's it goes from side to side can you see that there hang over your shoulder the bag itself is super huge and roomy actually still have stuff in here from when we stayed there last time but nothing special on the inside it's completely empty no pockets or anything but i oh actually i'm lying there is a zipper pocket in here but i love the bag I love it so much. It's so spacious, so roomy. You need it for your next trip, okay? Trust me on this. Okay, last thing. I literally bought this, what, three days before this video was actually going up, so I didn't have it when I initially filmed this video, but I did share with you guys my obsession with Magical Little Babes and the cardigan that I purchased, okay? She just had to go on and drop a tumbler on me, okay? So now, not only do I have the checkered tan mickey little cardigan thing to match my mickey tan mickey checkered weekender tote bag like i needed another one right i, I take this with me frequently i now bought this matching tumbler tell me i have a checkered obsession okay i already know it's becoming an addiction i'm so excited i think it's already shipped so I will have it in my possession very soon, but give me all of the neutral Mickey checkered items. I cannot wait. Okay, and I think the last thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is um, two little pin boxes, <laughs> which is, if you know me, that's pretty like random for me. I am a pin collector, but not super duper. Like I'm not a huge pin collector, um, but when I was purchasing all of my, like my um, Mouseketeer items, I saw these at checkout, you know, like when I'm checking out, they're like, oh, take a look at this. And I'm like, they are Loungefly blind box pins, but they are specifically Oliver and Company pins. So I don't remember how many pins come in this case. I really don't. But it says collect all six pins. We have Tito, Rita. What's that guy's name? Duke? I forget this guy's name. The Great Dane, the gray Great Dane, the one that gets hit. I always want to call him Sparky, but that's what he says when he gets hit by the car. Go Sparky, go find Bumper. <laughs> and then of course we have Georgette, Dodger, and Oliver. Oliver is the chase, so that's kind of discouraging. Obviously, who I want is Tito and Georgette. Oliver would be like my next, my next favorite, and then Dodger would be after that. I don't really care for Rita or Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see who we get I just thought this would be kind of like a fun little element to share with you guys because I never do pin unboxings on my channel like ever so let's see I got Georgette I got Georgette oh my gosh okay honestly I don't want to get greedy and like pray that it's Tito in the box but like I don't want to be greedy okay I'm lucky that I got her she's beautiful she's so pretty like queen queen slay queen okay so it's just one pin per box so let's see who we get oh my god let's see okay all right I'm not it's not Tito but I'm not displeased I did get Dodger I did get Dodger. So I actually think in my collection, I have a Tito pin, I don't have a Georgette pin, and I have an Oliver pin. It's kind of cool that I got a Georgette pin and a Dodger pin, so I'm happy with it. Okay, you guys, that's gonna do it for my cumulative haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, kind of like recapping my purchases with me. Ugh. It's always so fun. Like, I love sharing these things with you guys because I kind of want to keep you guys up to date with like what's new out there and 
like the bows I don't know you know I, I post a lot on my Instagram but maybe not all of you guys have Instagram and you're really only following up with me here on YouTube which is totally fine I will have Elizabeth's shop which is again Emma's boutique I will have that listed in the description box along with my coupon code so you guys don't forget and all that good stuff I will try to link everything if I can um, but other than that I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope to see you back again for the next one bye guys